Naheem's not next to you. That's got to be weird. Man, this still trying to process it. I mean, there's someone that, that came in and helped me out as soon as I stepped foot in the building. Over the years, he's just gave, given me so much knowledge, watching so much of his tape. And, you know, it sucks that now I to learn from him now, I have to, you know, just text him, maybe send him something like, hey, what do you think right here? Um, but we also, we got we got my guy back, Jordan. So I guess that, that makes a, a little bit of a men's for it. But we'll definitely miss Naheem because, like I said, he, since I walked through the door, he's been nothing but just a huge help and also a great friend. We know this offense is trying to take steps forward. Without Naheem, I mean, he was a big playmaker. Do you guys, it, it's kind of a, gets more of a burden on everybody to, to still move forward right now. Like you said, on everybody. Everyone has to step up. We know every time he touched the ball, I mean, I was just telling people this the other day, it's either a first down or a touchdown usually when Naheem touches the ball. So we all have to do our part as an offense in order to, to make up for that, you know, because you just don't simply just get another playmaker like Naheem. So we have to definitely make sure we do our fair share. Your first share has to be getting healthy, right? I mean, you, you've been through this before this year. What do you have to do to do as much as you can to be ready on something? Number one, I, I just got to attack it. Um, there's a lot of tricks and tricks to the trade that you can do to try to speed the process up. But I just have to continue to attack it. I mean, while I'm in the building, while I'm at home, I mean, that's the only thing I can do. Um, and also still give guidance to, to Dion. And Phillip has played a lot of ball, so Phillip can also give guidance to Dion. But just making sure that we stay c together as a group and understand, hey, no matter who's in there, no matter what we're doing, we're going to execute at a high level. I mean, especially, like I said, with Naheem being gone, we need to make sure we do our fair share. Do you think you're going to be? I'm not sure yet. It's still, what's today? Thursday? I know it's Thursday today. It's still Thursday. So just like I said, attacking it every day. Um, every second counts. Every second is critical, you know, as far as getting a rehab in. You knew a lot about Sam going into last Sunday, but what were you able to see that he provided this offense after his first start, now going into a full week ahead to prepare to go into a tough road environment? I mean, everybody saw how, how hard Sam played. We all knew that he, he was a gamer, but now, it's going to be great to just see him grow. You know, you definitely start to make strides, especially as you start getting that playing experience. So the fact that he was already coming into the game with some juice, being able to play hard, making good decisions, I'm excited to see now how he takes another step forward this week. You know, like you said, especially against a tough opponent like New England. So it's going to be so fun to, to watch him this, this week. We know he has a ton of confidence already, but going back to just the leap you were able to make between your first and second starts, what do you draw upon as being the, the biggest asset, having a game to look back upon, evaluate, and build from? Number one is it'll show you how quickly you have to make decisions. You know, everyone talks about the speed of the game, and it really just shows you and you get that experience on, okay, for example, for myself, making reads, making decisions, getting through the hole. Things were a little bit quicker, and you know, you got the feel of it from the first start to the second start. Okay, now I know I have to be just a bit, a bit quicker in my decision making. You no, know, not too much, just a bit quicker because every. Sorry about that. Everyone on the defensive side of the ball is, you know, so decisive. They're quick. They know their assignment, and you have to do the same. You were part of a big win over the Patriots last year. It was at home. What do you draw upon from last year that you're able to prepare for this week, but also knowing it's a little bit different when you go into hostile territory in Foxborough? I mean, number one, knowing it's going to be a fight. I mean, it was a fight and they, they came to our place. So going into Foxborough, I mean, just hearing stories from some of the older guys, it, it's a hostile environment to play in. So well, number one, we got to make sure of staying together. I mean, it's going to be loud. We have to make sure that we stay focused um, because if it was a fight at home, I know it's going to be a dog fight over there in New England. In that game last year, you obviously ended it with the big 67-yard uh, run. Do you feel like you're close to those kind of runs right now, or do you have to get the ankle to a place where you can kind of hit the full gear? Oh, well, we're definitely close. I mean, there's definitely a bunch of runs you can see that are just one block away from, from going to the house or just maybe one bit of a second of patience and letting that hole develop just a bit more to go into the house. So we've been close all year. It's just a matter of sticking to the plan, making sure we trust one another as well. I mean, that's another big factor of, you know, if something just seems muddy at first, just stay with it, stay with it, and then it opens up like the Red Sea. Do you feel like you're at a similar point as of where you were at the Denver week, the Jacksonville week, where you're just... Oh, no, the, Dem no, the, no, the Denver week, the Denver week was... That, that was... That was fresh off. That was just too quick of a turnaround. Is there any other frustration that you know you do retweak it when you do break one, and you know you haven't gotten those big uh, long hitters yet this year, and this is kind of where this kind of bites you again? Yeah, and you know it's definitely you know that 
those long runs, they don't come often in this league. So you, you always have to appreciate them while you have them, which is something that I did and I always continue will to do. But like I said, we're close. We've been close all year on, on a ton of runs. Even last week, we were close on, on another house call. So just being able to stick with it, trust the guys up front, having them trust me that I'm going to do my part, bringing the blockers to them, as well as the rest of the running back room, that we'll do everything in our power to make their job easier and vice versa so we can get things firing on all cylinders. JT, how much responsibility do you think you bear in the run game as far as I know there's been offensive line issues, swaps, different changes? Um, Chad, I don't care to fumble last week and, and things of that nature this season, so how much responsibility do you take in just writing the ship and getting back to what top five playing the league? Definitely a lot of responsibility, not only for myself, but like, like I mentioned, for the rest of the guys in the room, like I mentioned, Phillips played a ton of ball. Jordan's been here before, but like especially with, with Dion, is just letting him know that, hey, when you're trying to get something going, you have to stay true to who you are, your play style, but you also have to figure out, hey, how can I get better? Is there something that I'm doing? Am I not bringing the blockers to the defenders? You know, watch every single run. You know, what, is, what are the things that you're doing every single, every single carry? And even when you don't have the ball, something that can just help elevate your game. And that's something that... Me and Naheem, you know, when Naheem was here, was trying to harp on Dion and just, hey, just make sure you watch yourself. You know, watch the entire play, but always study yourself and try to get 1% better every day. What, do you what happened on the... the most this, this season for you? Like, what do you think has been the biggest difference between last year and this year? Like I said, I think it's just being close, being close a bunch of times. And I know last year, I mean, we had, we still, we have great receivers that go out there and, you know, block force, but just being able to just, just be so close, you know, whether it's, just one guy, one guy off of a block, or whether it's me just not one second, one second slower on that tempo to being able to bring that defender. So just being close all year, and I think that's something that we need to have that one game where we just click. And once you click that one game, it's just a snowball effect. What happened on the, the fumble on Sunday? Got to hold on to it. Yeah, I mean, just it's been a couple of those this year for you. I know the other one seemed kind of injury related, though, but that has been a constant thing kind of for this offense. So what, what are you kind of working on to make sure that kind of goes away? We have to just stick to our fundamentals and technique every week.